It's May 14th at 8.30 something or other about, and Ian and I are going to the Southwest Carrier Annex, and we're going to drive a carrier route and pick up food for the food banks. Uh, this is an important thing. I have an idea that could add to it, and, and it could be like, taken wrongly, but it shouldn't be. It's, who are the people that need the food in the food banks? They're people that are struggling, and they're probably just had a, a some kind of crisis come up in the family, and in America especially, part of the family is our family pet or pets. So I think that we should be able to collect food for animals, too, as part of the carrier drive. I don't know of any place where a person can go to get food for their animals. Now, granted, there would be somebody that wouldn't understand and would think collecting cans of cat food for the food bank is silly. But look, there's a family pet right there. Alex? Would you like people like? Would you like people to donate cat food to you? Should you ever have the need? Huh, buddy, Alexander? Yes, he, he would. He, he look, he's gonna come. Would, would you like that, Alex? Would, yes. Yes. So, it's just a thought. I'm going to put into the suggestion that food for animals be added. Alright, we have our route, route, whatever that we're going to drive. Ian's eating sustenance. He's blessed. He doesn't need to go to a food bank. He has... What's up? He has a heartfelt thanks for all your help. Okay? And we are not, I repeat, we are not going to put these in your mailboxes. Because that's a federal offense and we don't do federal offenses. We put them by the door. There's Ian getting our first bag of food. And very nicely leaving a thank you note. Ian was masterful at food gathering. Look at our back seat. It's piled floor to ceiling with, well, almost to the ceiling, with food. Thank you for your generosity. This is Sunday, May 15th, the day after the National Association of Letter Carriers Food Drive. I put food in my mailbox. This is what's above my mailbox. Good words. This is my mailbox. My food was in here in a plastic bag. And you see, it's empty now. The carrier took the food. I have a lot of ideas. And one of my ideas, as you recall just a few minutes ago from the film that I did, was that they start allowing people to put in food for pets because people that need the food bank, it's generally a crisis situation. And the family pet also needs to be fed. And as far as I know, there's nowhere to go to get food for your animals. You can feed them human food, and probably that's what people do, but, you know, is that the best nutrition? Veterinarians would say no. Here's something I do for my wild animals, because all the animals around my household are in my caretaking. I try to take care of them. And I've discovered that my squirrels love peanut butter. Now, I know this is quote-unquote human food, but I figure it's just 
you know, pre-done peanut butter, and they look so cute when they eat it. And look, you can see the little paw prints. Is that not adorable? And, and, and they really, really enjoy it. So, it's an idea. If you run out of nuts, try peanut butter for your squirrels. And remember to always give generously because we are so blessed. And sometimes we have hard times and we have to rely on each other. And that includes our wild friends, our wildlife friends, and our family pets. Thanks.